Enigma Dose. I saw Enigma Uno, I recall, last month. And a very heated confrontation against one of the most bizarre and prejudiced zombies ever, and Fester. But this time around, now Enigma's got backup. But they are up against very, very strong, hard-hitting, powerful individuals. They are against the odds because Malix Matthews is a fantastic heavyweight with cruiserweight skills. He can do things in the ring that most heavyweights cannot do, and he can make people hurt very badly, for real, for a long, long time. And the quick tags in are and out by the Los Enigmas are allowing them to score the advantage in the early going. Malix Matthews in primarily black with yellow trim, and his partner Chris Miller entirely black. Enigma 2 manages to muscle down Malix Matthews. Does he even know where he is? Why did, would he tag the wrong oppo the opposition of his? Very strange. Last time we saw Chris Miller in an LLT ring, he was successful in a tag team opening bout at the LLT Super Show that took place in Cicero. And he's been missing in action as of late, but he is back in the ring today. And he is here to prove a point. He is an alcohol fuel brawler of the ring who wants to make some individuals pay with bone crunching drops, known primarily for that designated driver. And he can really do damage with a cross face. Beautiful. Bicycle kick. Just really leveled Enigma 1, and that could have ended the match instantaneously. Lots of tag team experience. For Chris Miller in the past, he has earned a number of tag team championships, and on that drop, Enigma, Enigma nearly landed on the back of his own head very badly. And if Enigma is in the grasp of Miller and Malik Matthews for too long, this is going to be a very short match they have. The weight advantage, and they're going to make them pay in this struggle. Alex Matthews is an excellent striker. Great body control. He can change speeds and directions with these, and that's what makes him very formidable in this ring. He also brings a lot of Hispanic pride and heritage, and he has a significant fan base that continues to grow. And on the bounds of Lucha Libre Total, it could continue to grow very, very quickly. Enigma trying desperately to chop down Malix, but he is giving up a lot of size, and his strikes aren't doing the damage that Malix's are, and that cross chop to the neck did some additional damage. That Enigma can't respond with anything, for anything, at this point. Alex is going to continue to bully this man around the ring as much and as often as possible. The man from Guanajuato, Mexico, this Technico. He got his first win last time, but I don't see his chances of getting a victory that strong against Malik's right here. Alex ran in. And I think he caught some of the right elbow of Enigma. He knocked him down. But Malik's got the shoulder up. Not enough damage was inflicted. Enigma faced the animosity in his debut last month against Fester, but he is now in a matchup, a new matchup with difficulties. What a spinning turnaround driver that was, and he almost got the win right there. Talk about great innovation. That's what Malik Matthews brings in the ring. And at any moment, he can pick you up, turn you around, and deliver a spine-tingling drop that can change the entire complexion of the match. But Enigma, number one, has literally been tortured throughout most of this one. Miller again tries for the big boot. Attack is to make had to break up at the last moment. A very surprised crowd seeing some new techniques executed on behalf of those Enigmas in this match. Enigma 1 and 2. 
Lots of chances to show that they are the future stars of the ring. Ring of A's grabbing for his eyes. Oh, kneecap right to the spine. Enigma 2's been laid out badly. Look at this. Alex Bailey choking Enigma 2 with his right shin. And all that momentum has been crushed at the hands of Alex Matthews at this point. All the obstacles, all the animosity that these Enigmas are facing as they're the new Lucha Libre Total Stars. They are the future stars. They are against the odds, and Malix Matthews is making Enigma 2 pay for that short offensive onslaught he delivered moments ago. Beautiful butterfly suplex. One of Chris Miller's go to moves. And that's one way that you can take the edge off of your opponent. Another devastating gut wrench suplex. Miller's like a, a library of suplexes and takedowns, and all the slams and drops will eventually take all the air out of your opponent. Miller dropping repeated forearms across the chest cavity of Enigma 2, who is really struggling here just to maintain an upright position. Enigma 2 with that stinging shot to the ribcage. And now Malix again continues to dominate with the headbutt as he stands along his throat trying to damage the esophagus, the larynx, and all those intricate tissues and organs that allow any sort of breathing to take place in the... Oh, man. An open-handed chop has done some damage. And an angle two is begging for forgiveness. And one, one more. And again, this time, an angle two really can't handle the pain. And Malix is doing a lot of trash talking at this point. He didn't win the match yet, but he's really close to putting this man away. Snap suplex for another two count, but this time it looked to me as though he got weaker. He got weaker ever since the last time that he was dropped for a pinning attempt. And it might be just a matter of split seconds or moments before this event is terminated in an all ring. Scooping slam, the cheap shot. And Malik says an opening if he wants to get in the ring. He can if he wants. Lucha Libre rules in effect. Head first to the post. Enigma 1's been laid out badly. What is Malik Matthews doing with the first row fans? I can't figure this out. Double leg takedown. He just crushed him with a can. Malik is dominated and taken down Enigma 1 on the outside. Modified crab in the ring. And Miller might be moments away from putting away Enigma 2. And Enigma 1 is nowhere around to make any sort of tag. Well, Miller almost got disqualified right there. Cannot put on a hold when there should be a mandatory rope break. Another tag has been made between the Rudos and this tag team order. Tunnel Team Suplex, Enigma 2, has been flattened like a pancake more than once. And the more they beat on him, the more he, this Enigma 2 seems to like it, and these fans are starting to believe. They're starting to believe in Enigma 2, that he might just be unbeatable. How do you stop this guy? How do you stop the unstoppable? I assume that the Enigma 2 is also from Guanajuato, Mexico. The left round is kicked in work, but the right one connected. Malix loses his balance and he falls, and he needs a tag. There's an opportunity now for the Enigmas. They're going to make it happen. Enigma 1 versus Miller. Drop kick to the right knee. Glancing across the left shoulder. Enigma slowly brings Miller to his feet and delivers a DDT. He stuffed about his head. And a two count, but Malik 
Marcus Matthews interfered. He interrupted the count. That was illegal. What, what is that on the far side? What is going on here? Snapping head scissors by Nickel. Where did Enigma 2 go? Wild Bulldog smash. Where is Enigma 2? What happened to him? Enigma 1 is all alone. Can Enigma 1 finish off? Chris Miller in the ring. What's Fester doing? Watch out. Oh, no. Fester yanked and pushed him off those ropes. And he landed right on his head. Was Enigma 2 Fester all along? Sarge Nevis, and he's touching up on himself. What is this? Wait a minute. Enigma 1's mask has been rotated around his head. Come on, that's cause for a disqualification. You can't manipulate his mask. Alex picks him up. Oh, Brain Buster suplex. That's it. And Fest is happy with the results at the very end. Well, they're not happy with just winning the match. Now they want to get additional damage done. Oh, my goodness. And Enigma 1 has been outsmarted by a partner that he thought he had. Enigma 2 turned out to be, oh my, a curb stop on top of it all. How much damage can you do to one guy? Now what? Now Fester's getting in there. What are you going to do to add to this mess? Oh, don't go for the poison sushi. Anything but the poison sushi, please. <laughs> trying to yank the mask off. Fester's trying to end Enigma. And his Lucha Libre career instantly. This is unnecessary. This is all after the fact. Talk about being doomed from the start. Enigma 1 was in there against three enemies, including his partner, who was Fester after all. Well, that was very strange. The uh, bloody kid the bloody tampon and dropped in his freaky zombie. Decided to touch up upon himself in a very peculiar style. And on the first time I scratched it, he got involved in the situation that it matched. He was actually in a stress. The whole entire time he was in that match. of a victory last month and then he wanted revenge and he tricked Enigma 1 into being his partner as Enigma 2 in the New York City exhibitionist and fashion hot plate from the LGBTQ community who has taken liberties on his opponent and has just taken liberties on his partner and sadly 